Hello everyone, my name is Masha Nuts, and today I'm going to teach you how to make single coloured and double coloured loops. I want to preface this by saying that though this is a tutorial for beginners, I do expect that you already know how to make the basic knots. If you don't, I have a separate video on that, it's going to be linked in the description and in the card. So let's get into it! So not every pattern works for loops. You can't make a loop for every single pattern. Because when you're making a loop, you're folding the string to create the loop. And when you're doing that, you're essentially creating two strings out of one because of the two ends of the string. So if you want to make a loop, you have to first check that your pattern works. And your pattern will work if you have an even number of strings for every color. So this is the pattern that I've chosen for my single coloured loop and as you can see on the pattern I've got four strings of the A colour, four strings of the B, four strings of the C and four strings of the D colour. So each of my colours has an even number of strings to it. As I require four strings of each colour I need to cut two strings because then I'm going to fold them in a loop and create four ends, four strings out of those two longer strings. So these are the colours that I chose for my bracelet and if you want to use the same colours they're going to be labelled from 1 to 4 from left to right and referenced in the description. So you're going to cut however many strings your pattern requires. My pattern requires two strings of each colour so I'm going to cut two metres of each string and then I've selected the purple string to be the string that I make the loop with and I'm going to cut an extra 15 centimetres of the purple string for one of the purple strings. Since I have two of each colour one of them is going to be just two metres, one of them is going to be two metres and 15 centimetres. Once you've cut your string you fold it in half and you make sure that all the ends line up on the other side apart from of course the string that is extra long that you cut for the loop. So you're going to make sure you remember which side the long string is on for me it's this side and then looking back at the top of the loop my longer string is on this side so I'm going to start the loop here and finish it here. So taking into consideration where I want to start my loop I'm going to start it here I'm going to unfold the string on this position and I'm going to secure it here onto my workspace. So once you've secured your string onto your workplace, you're going to separate the string that you want to make the loop with. For me it's this longer purple one. And you're going to start off by making forward backward knots onto the entire strand. And once again I'm going to do a quick recap, but the full video on knots is linked in the card and in the description. So a forward backward knot is half of a forward knot. And the other half as a backward knot. And you're literally just going to be doing forward backward knots with this one string onto the entire strand. This is the entire process of making the loop, so you continue doing forward backward knots onto the entire strand until the loop reaches your desired length. And again, you can always stop at any point to check the length of your loop. And I feel like mine is already long enough at this point. So this is what this type of loop looks like in a close-up. So onto the double coloured loop. The same exact thing goes for the double coloured loop. You can only use pattern that have an even number of strings per colour. So this is the pattern that I've chosen and I can check that all of the colours that I've shown in this pattern have an even number of strings. So there's two for A, two for B, two for C and so on. I've got two strings of every colour in this pattern which means I can make a loop for it. So as I've got two strings per colour I only need to cut one longer string which I'm then going to fold to create the loop. These are the colours that I've chosen for my bracelet and as always you can use whatever colours that you like but if you want to use these specific colours they're labelled from 1 to 8 from left to right and they're going to be referenced in the description. So since I'm doing a loop I'm going to double the length of each string so I'm going to cut each string about 2 metres long and the strings that I've selected to do the loop and for this one I've selected two I've got this one and this one these two strings I've selected to be the colours of the loop I'm going to add 10 centimetres for each of those strings so 2 metres and 10 centimetres for these ones and just two meters for the rest of them. Once you've cut your string you want to fold it in half and you want to make sure that all the ends meet at a point except the two longer ends that meet at a different point. You want the two longer ends to be on the same side of the loop. So this is the side that has the longer ends in my case. So I want the loop to start somewhere here and finish somewhere here. So I'm going to take this point, I'm going to unfold the string 
and I'm going to secure it onto my workspace at the point where I want my loop to start. So now that you have your strings secured on your workspace, you're going to separate the two strings that are longer for you. So I have this red and this blue string, I cut them longer than the rest, so I'm going to separate those two. You're going to select one of those strings, doesn't matter which one at this moment. I'm going to choose the red one, and you're going to put the other one off to the side. You're going to do a forward backward knot with your string onto the entire strand in the middle. So a forward backward knot is half of a forward knot and half of a backward knot. So I do the first half of a forward knot, and the second half as a backward knot. Now that I've done that for the first colour, I'm going to put this string aside and I'm going to grab the second string, which is the blue one. As you can see, the blue string lies on top of the red string as I bring it forward. And I'm going to do the same thing, a forward backward knot onto the entire strand. So there you go, you can start seeing the loop forming up there. So now we've done the blue one, we're going to bring the red one back, and again the red one goes on top of the blue one as we bring it back, and once again forward backward knot onto the entire strand. And again we switch, bring the blue one forward, it put, goes on top of the red one, forward backward onto the entire strand. And we continue doing this, switching the string, doing forward backward knots onto the strand until the loop reaches the desired length. You may stop at any point and sort of reposition your loop to check if it's the desired length for you. And at this moment I do feel like my loop is the length that I want it to be, so I'm going to detach it from my working space. And there you go, this is what the loop looks like up close from all angles. And at this point you can start making your bracelet according to your pattern. If you want you can also go in to make the teardrop loop with the teardrop effect of the loop. I have a separate video on that, it's going to be linked in the card and in the description. Or you can go in to do triangle ends from each of the sides of the loop. So you can do a triangle end here and a triangle end here and then go into your pattern. Again, separate video on that, links in the description and in the card. So this was just a basic tutorial to show you how to make multicolored loops. So before the video finishes, I just want to mention a couple of things. As you guys know if you've seen my May wrap up video, I asked you guys to vote on patterns that I'm going to be making this month and on a pattern that we all are going to be making together. So that vote is now over and you have chosen this pattern to be pattern of the month. So go ahead, make this pattern with whatever color combinations that you like, take a picture of it and post it on Instagram with the hashtag Masha Knots and so do I. And tag me in the photo if you want to be featured in the next wrap up video. I'm really looking forward to see what you guys will create for this month's challenge. I'm also going to be participating in the challenge, so keep your eyes out for that. Another thing that I quickly want to mention is that one of my subscribers called Casper has created a Facebook group for you guys. This group is called Lots of Knots and in his own words the group is intended for people all over the world who are interested in bracelets, macrame bracelets, jewellery, plastic lacing and other knot tying crafts. The group is intended as a place to share pictures of finished products, share patterns, get encouragement on works in progress, get help on different issues, get feedback, ask questions and just interact with one another. I think this is a great initiative and a great place for all of us to gather together. So I'm going to leave the link to this group down in the description if you want to join. So there you have it, that's how you make loops of single and of double colours. As I said, this video is more of an introduction for beginners. If you want to look in further on how to start your bracelets, I have more tutorials available. They're going to be linked in the description and in the card. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you in some way, maybe you learned something new. And if you ever make anything based on any of my videos, I always love to see your guys' creations. So tag me in a post on Instagram or maybe send me a direct message. I always love seeing your guys' pictures. Thank you all for watching. I post videos every Tuesday and Saturday and I will see you on Saturday. Bye!